Darren Overfield and I, about a year and a half ago, wrote an article about the aftermath of COVID. So yes, I think everybody's workload has dramatically increased with all the changes and the anxieties and the what does this mean and what do I do and I'm doing four and five jobs. But in addition, we've severed so many social connections and COVID was a global trauma. And I think people are experiencing the aftermath of a traumatic event in the same, some of the same ways as we would talk about any traumatic event. I granted it's not quite the same as being in a civil war, but um, the impact on your body is some of the same. So, you know, I think some of the symptoms we're seeing currently in people's mental health is part of what we've been through. Now, I'm interested in your reaction. Do you agree to disagree? Significant impact from going through a pandemic. It would be considered a chronic stressor, one that was there early, during, and continues to be there after. And we have other chronic stressors happening at the same time. Other things are happening in the world, some of them closer to some of us, some of them not so close, but still in the overall um, uh, consciousness uh, and, and the information and the news we see. And so it, that is one, and there are others, and they linger. They're there over time, and they add to all the other demands that we're facing in our professional lives and in our personal lives. And having that realistic awareness that these all represent demands is very important in addition to noticing the positive things happening in our personal, professional, and on the planet, that even if they are positive, will at times represent demands. You're getting this promotion you've been wanting. It's very positive. You've wanted it. You've worked towards it. It's a demand. You're changing your uh, relationship. You're getting married. Very exciting. You've wanted this. Even if it's a simple wedding, it will still be a demand. 